next to this! <laughs> nice work, friend. Revenge on the skeleton is complete. It's even funnier when the old wall prank works twice. So, yeah, here's my audition. Behold, everyone! As I show you, a ridiculous but totally plausible fighter for Super Smash Brothers 4! Yes! The Karate Man, also known as Karate Joe. But why does the skeleton choose such an obscure character from an obscure series? Fear not, as the skeleton will tell ya! Now, from what I can tell, Super Smash Bros. has a tendency of showing off characters from games that may not be as popular as they'd like to be. Normal examples are the Flaming Bird Puncher guy, that sword guy, that other sword guy, and last but surely least, Lucas. So I said to myself, hey, what about Rhythm Heaven? Yeah, good idea, man. I know, it was just one of my brainstorms. So, why Karate Joe? Dude, he's been in every Rhythm Heaven game so far. Plus, his ability to hurt people would be pretty high. This guy probably even has a better chance of getting in than Little Mac. Because, not only can he punch people, but he can kick people! I mean, seriously, this guy can dish out punches like he can punch out dishes! And let's face it, he's more current as well. Little Mac is old news. So how come you didn't choose me? Because I think Square owns you, not Nintendo. Oh, I see clearly now. NINTENDO! Why don't you love me? His moveset would be pretty basic. Punching, kicking, dish projectiles, breakable rocks, and a possible uppercut attack as a third recovery. But for the final smash, well, I'm just gonna get creative on this one. Would you like to know what happens when I turn left? Why, but of course. Oh, I don't think you want to know what happens. On chicken thoughts. Too late. I'm a fire in my laser! So yeah, let's get Karate Joe in this game! Because now you do want Karate Joe in this game!